Watch and shoot, watch and shoot. Targets will fall when hit. SWEAT stands for Soldier Weapon and Equipment Assessment Tool uh, that we've been spending the last two days here on Salisbury Plain developing and pilot trialling. The idea behind the SWEAT course is to enable us to quantify the effects of future soldier capability. So it might be a new weapon system, or it might be, for example, new boots or new helmet or new body armour, and assessing the effect that, that will provide upon the individual's lethality. That uh, allows us to quantify that. So it might improve their lethality or it might reduce their lethality, but the SWEAT course allows us to quantify that effect. It's, it's doing something novel and innovative. It's taking different components that have been um, separated, so lethality, survivability, mobility, and bringing it into a course that comprehensively uh, tests a uh, soldier and systems. Uh, so it's a, it's a much better evaluation than uh, has existed before. The SWEAT course consists of 14 static obstacles, 36 individual actions. So those, those actions consist of different firing positions, so standing, kneeling and prone at different orientations around the obstacles at three different engagement ranges, so long, medium and short range engagements. We've provided the data collection system for that in the form of Saab's instrumented metricized live fire system. Um, this involves instrumenting the firer um, with one of our personal detection devices which allows us to see where they are in the battle space uh, and at the target end we instrument it with the Saab location of miss and hit bar, Loma bar and that's, that transposes a, a five metre by three metre detection area in which, uh, which collects the live fire rounds on an XY coordinate. So we're collecting accuracy data uh, both in terms of the shots on the target and all the targets are instrumented so we know the, the timing between those shots as well to help to quantify his lethal effects, so how accurate and uh, how fast he's firing and shooting. This course for the UK in the future will be used to quantify the effects of new capability on the soldier, so that might be new technology, new weapon systems or new sighting systems, or even new boots, helmets, body armour etc, and trying to quantify the effects of how that might positively or negatively affect their lethality. The final objective of the trial is for it to be used and developed by uh, NATO nations into what's called a STANREC, so a standardised NATO recommendation. And this is effectively a recommendation that will allow other nations to develop the trial into their, their own, uh, but also be similar enough to allow interoperability between the nations.